Hello and welcome to Video DNA, where the English is bad and the tutorials are good. I'm Iran Tabib and today I'm gonna show you any subs, the easiest and fastest way to get the subtitles inside of After Effects. Any subs is pretty simple to use. All you need to do is to create a text layer with any design that you want and go to File, Scripts, and activate any subs. Now all you need to do is to select a subtitle file. It can be an SRT, an XML, or AVTXT. And press OK, and that's it. You have all the subtitles inside of After Effects. So uh, let's do this again with an XML file. So this time I'm gonna copy one of those subtitles, paste them over here, maybe change the font to Arial, Okay, and change the color to white. And again, go to File while the layer is selected, Scripts, Any Subs, and now I'm gonna select the XML, and later I'm gonna talk about how to create all of those subtitles. And that's it. You have all the subtitles you need in your project. And again, let's go to the composition Little Monsters. It's quite empty right now, so I'm gonna add a subtitle subtitle it doesn't matter because it's just gonna change in a second so I'm gonna go to scripts any sub and this time I'm gonna select the mini monsters and press OK and that's it we have all the subtitles that we need the pipeline of any subs comes from an offline editor that creates the subtitles in Premiere or Avid or Final Cut or any other offline editing software and if you want to import it to After Effects, sometimes it's a hassle and you don't have like a specialized pipeline and maybe you need to retype them again. So AnySub takes care of that. All the offline editor needs to do is to export the subtitle file. It could be an XML, SRT or uh, AVTXT and AnySubs will take care of it. So if there is still a pipeline that is not supported by AnySubs, please contact us send us those subtitles file and we will add it to the script. This is a live text layer, very easy to edit and to change and to select a few of them, maybe change something, or maybe you're not pretty happy with this subtitle, so I'm just gonna delete all, the, all of those, I'm gonna change the subtitles uh, to something else, maybe change the drop shadow effect with more distance, I don't know, and use any subs once again. And that's it. You have all the changes you need again with AnySubs. So that's all you need to know about AnySubs, but if your offline editor doesn't know how to export those subs or you want to do it yourself, in the guide that comes with AnySubs, there are written steps on how to create those subtitles files. And if you're using Premiere, I'm gonna show you right now. So the first one I want to show you is if the editor created a caption. And captions are pretty easy to export to SRT. So you just go to the caption window and export to SRT file. So this is this file. But if your editor or you're editing and you forgot to use captions, like in this sequence, you have only text elements that are not captions, you can export it through file export to Final Cut Pro XML and this is how this XML was created and any subs will know how to take these text elements you know those texts that you just take the text and write something down and bam you have it inside of After Effects live and ready to use so any subs is like every other tool we have created which is mainly there to stream your pipeline and make your job effortless you know especially those repeatable tasks that take so much time now you can automate so that's all you need to know about any subs i hope you like it and i'm gonna see you next time